Welcome to Waterfall Cottage. I'm Cherie, and that's Tommy. And today we might be gardening, remodeling, cooking, canning, or tending to our chickens. Stick around and see what we are up to today. Hey y'all. So I decided to take a break from painting today and work on some other things because quite frankly I'm tired of paint. Um, and I have a lot of other things to get done. We're not supposed to even reach 100 today. We're supposed to have a low of 65 tonight. So the uh, nighttime temperatures are getting low enough that I think I can safely get away with planting some of my fall crops. I did already start um, the mustard greens last, uh, probably four days ago, and those are doing great. I'll show you all those. But I'm going to take care of canna, carrots, and collard greens today. So we're going to get all that done. And hopefully we will have good fall crops this year. Now the problem with these cannas is that they just look awful. And I don't think that it is all just sun damage. Let's see if I can find one. It doesn't really look like the can of leaf roller damage either. So I'm wondering if it's not fungal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all these down because they look awful. And then I'm going to treat them with a baking soda um, dish soap mixture. I'm going to take my little gallon sprayer here, mix four teaspoons of baking soda, um, a few drops of dish soap and then I'm just going to spray it all down what's left the little nubs that are left and hope that if there is a fungus that that takes care of it and if not we'll have to move on to something a little stronger than baking soda but that's where we're going to start is by cutting all of these cannas down. Alright, well, I got all of it chopped down. I left the newer looking ones that don't appear to have any damage. And now I have my sprayer. I've got my baking soda in there. It looks like I need to add more water. I was fooled because it was bubbling up. So let me add more water and then we'll spray all of this down with our baking soda mixture. Now I'm going to treat these once a week with the same mixture for the next month and then we'll see what happens. Now for these cannas, same thing, they look awful. So I'm just going to cut these down, put all of that in the trash, and then I'm going to not put baking soda on these. And Tommy is going to cut this copper grounding rod for me. And we're going to put that in there and see if there's any truth to copper helping with fungus so let me get these cut down real quick so this is what I'm left with after cutting out everything that looks pretty much dead or diseased 
I did leave a couple to show you what's happening. So this is one of the leaves. It doesn't look like canna rust to me. Before they even have a chance to, uh, for the leaves to open up, I don't know, they just start crumbling. Yeah, B. I'm just not sure. Is it canna rust? It's obviously some sort of bug damage. Just really not positive what it is we have going on here. Is it a bug? Is it? Because I'm not seeing any of the canna leaf rollers. But it seems to be happening when they're fairly young before the leaves ever really get very far. But I guess this is the best example of where it starts out. And if you guys have any idea of what this, what is causing this other than the sun, let me know. Because these are getting plenty of water, so it's not that. And they're getting regular water. Same that they've always gotten. So, if you have any idea, let me know. Tommy's, Tommy's going to cut this copper down uh, ground rod for me. What are you using to cut it, Tommy? It's a cutoff wheel. Okay. going to be planting carrots and chives. I don't have many carrot seeds but I have enough to get a few carrots so I am going to go ahead and get those in the ground. I'm going to cover these with some cardboard in a minute. And on the chives, just going to sprinkle them as well. See how little they are? Just going to sprinkle them. And now I'm going to put some cardboard over this and wet this really well. Let's see, this one's chives. And these are carrots. This bed already had pepper plant in it, so since it managed to survive the horrible summer we had, I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But this is Bates Collards. I'm going to Go ahead and use the whole package because I have several of these that I ordered and I'm just going to sprinkle them, just kind of broad spread them. I'm trying to get all this done before we get rain in the next week so maybe they can germinate. Alright, well, got the collards in here and the carrots and chives over there. Let me go get the cardboard. Got everything covered with my little pop-up covers to keep the cats and chickens out. And I got the cardboard over the carrots. So, probably weigh that down with something. Maybe not, no, nah, it, it should be good under this pop-up thing. And over here where the mustard greens are growing, we have the copper ground rods. 
So we'll see if those do any good for over here. Got a bunch of rain and the cannas are looking so much healthier. Are you chasing my chicken? Well, my chicken shouldn't be over there anyway. Come back. The purse lane is closed up for the night, but it and that bull bean are doing really well over here. Still have a bunch of blank spaces in there, but they're doing good. So anyway, I managed to get back over here to my table under my pergola. <laughs> I will put up a picture of what my foot currently looks like. Um, so yesterday, two days ago actually, it's been two days since I put, put the carrots in. Um, I was stung by a bee on my big toe and I'm allergic to bees. So, you know, as the day went on, it, my foot just an ankle just got bigger and bigger until everything was swollen up to my knee. And if this follows the usual pattern, it will be swollen for several days and then it will go back, start to go back down to normal and just be all bruised looking. So, um, everybody's like, shouldn't you go to the hospital? No, this is my normal, my normal experience with bee stings. I don't stop breathing or anything. Now I have had to go to the hospital if I got um, multiple stings, like one time I had three stings and I did end up in the hospital with that one because that was just too much for my body to handle. But anyway, we are very blessed here in Texas to have um, an extra long growing season. So the longest any of that stuff's going to take is 90 days, so we should be good. Um, we're still in the 90s here in Texas and we probably won't get any kind of a frost until December or January. So since it's, you know, middle of September, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. So anyway, I hope this video was somehow enjoyable or something entertaining. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next video.